Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Thanks so much for taking the choice, making the choice, quit taking my choices! I needs them! To watch CK2 with me. <laughs> Actually, I'm playing it too. Um, what? Okay, so France has got a bit of a civil war going on. We defended the Lords of the Sky last time. The big thing we're doing right now is trying to bring our troops back from that war when we kick the crap out of the Pope and we're raiding the Holy Roman Empire's territory. <laughs> All these areas right along the border, we have armies in there like Vikings, we're not Vikings, but like them, raiding and stealing their shit. And the Holy Roman Empire is too weak to do anything about it right now. They probably will do more later. They probably don't like the fact that we are raiding them. Yeah, he's like, quit pillaging my lands. Sorry, bitch. That ain't gonna stop. Not until we've gotten what we want. You were gonna go help the Pope? In his unjust war against my Tangri brethren? So we're going to teach you a lesson. We're going to put an upgrade, I think, in Car Constantinople. We can't. They're busy upgrading the militia training ground. What about in Thrake? Why don't we upgrade... The castle fortifications? No. The barracks. So we can get some heavy, heavy infantry and pikemen. Some of our vassals are mad that their guys have been raised so long. But they can go suck a dick. This is hilarious what we're doing to the Holy Roman Empire. Now we're going to get you marching down this way. It is possible these guys are going to try and come and attack my small army there. Victory! Oh wait, hold on. Most excellent! They want to attack us here? We have a retinue there. We could bring all of our guys in here, smash half the army of the Holy Roman Empire to try and destabilize them even further. I want to destabilize them into a situation where either the Emperor gets overthrown, the Emperor, what's his name, Creepy Beard? Uh, Almrek V, the Gentle. Oh, I feel like I'm an asshole now if he's gentle. <laughs> he owes 300 to the Knights Templar, where he gets overthrown, or their rebellions in the Holy Roman Empire falls apart due to the rebellions. You can see on the right side here, these are these areas we're sieging. The more red it is, the better we're doing. You want that green line to go down there. That correlates with this, the defenders. You can see here we have burned all the stuff down here. We're going to go for that, Barony. But right now, we're keeping an eye on this. He will be there on the 23rd of August. And we have an army waiting for him. Excellent. Let us bring in reinforcements. That is our retinue. Hopefully our retinue, do, retinue will do a good job. Every time my daughter Teresa meets a stranger, she looks like me, she might faint. Well, I think because our emperor is wise, not wise, shy, um, I think he's just going to accept her like that. I think he's going to be like, it's okay, she's shy, I am too, and he's been the greatest emperor we've seen. Well, I don't know if the greatest. He's been able to achieve a lot. Uh, Dongerson II might have been greater, you know, Hermes or Bernie might have been greater because they, they had bigger problems to deal with. But Radigan has made the most of the benefits he's been given. He has not squandered that. All right, where are you going? You are going into Kratzen. Interesting. We're going to wait. Once they go into there, I think we're going to send reinforcements and try to destroy that. We might be able to destroy the entire army of the Holy Roman Empire. They'll rebuild them before too long. When will you be in there? The 6th? Come on, hurry up and get in there. Then you'll be decisive. You're going to be there on the 12th. I don't exactly have time to raise you, grandchild. Here, someone else can educate you. All right, come on, let's get these reinforcements in. There we go. Now we outnumber them two to one. Uh, where did that other army go? Oh, they're still coming into the territory. We should be able to trounce them up north there while allowing our other sieges to raid lands to continue. All right. We can see down here that they've attacked our other group. We have an advantage here in that we are on a hill and we are having reinforcements on the way. We're having, that's good English. Reinforcements are on the way. Oh, speaking of which, before everybody dies, um, let's get these guys onto boats. Uh, can we get you onto a boat? There we go. Can we get you guys onto a boat? There we go. We're going to get these guys home. I had to remember about that. How's this battle going? 
Not bad. We got the hill. We are outnumbered. Reinforcements will be there momentarily. Quickly run back up to the north where we are crushing them. We've lost some guys, but I don't care if it destabilizes the Holy Roman Empire. Victory indeed. We have crushed a ton of their guys. Uh, we'll send one of these armies back, the weaker of the two. Oh wait, no, this army is not on raid, so we'll send them back. How's this battle going on? Oh, we are crushing them again! Victory! Uh, we've captured somebody. And we're not technically at war with these guys, we're just being dicks and raiding them. And look, now he's down to less than 4,000 troops. We have just kind of kicked the crap out of him. Well, let's finish up the areas we can raid. Alright, this one is finished, and then we're going to start bringing guys home. I, I think we're about to end the raids. We'll bring all these guys back. We've done the damage we want to the, the Holy Roman Empire. We've raided a lot of their areas. You can see that's burning. We could raid more, but we're going to have to... They're going to raise troops so fast that eventually it'll be problematic cost-wise. So I, th I think we've done the damage we want to do. We're going to get all these little areas left. This one's really close. In fact, maybe we'll send an army up to help. Uh, this one is close as well. well. Why don't we send some guys in there? Even if they die of attrition... I don't know, we're just sending them a message. Fate smiles upon me. My concubine Nadeja is Pregres. Oh, 44? She's one stern, fertile lady. Amazing she doesn't have kids already. Alright. Our ships are loaded up. Let's bring these bastards home. Are they fighting with someone else? Defending against Orson of Orson's host and Orson's conquest of Flanders. Victory to Dork. <laughs> I remember doing that name, I believe, long ago. A daughter was born to Emperor Radigan the Wise and Boyana Tordorka. Alright, we'll go with that name. Victory! Oh, where's the victory? I, I wasn't paying attention. I guess it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. How are things going, Radigan? Pretty damn well. Getting ladies on my dick every day. Don't sing that in front of the kids. Getting ladies on my dick every day. Getting ladies on my dick every day. You're such a bad influence. Hey, kids love songs. <laughs> All right, let's 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 finish sieging these areas. Uh, the county capital here in Radigan. He's like, stop. I'm like, nope, we're showing you who's boss. This is like a dick contest. All right, we'll bring you guys home. I believe these guys here can all go home. I don't think there's any reason to keep them raised. They're not retinues. Come on, we're almost there. I want to see this burn. So that when we look all along the border... Oh, that one we didn't do. But you can see Burning Castle. Burning Castle. Burning, burning. Oh, I guess we didn't finish that one up. Whatever. You can see all kinds of burning territory. Having showed them who the man is, and it's not damn. Alright, there's another burning castle. As soon as autosave is done, we're bringing those guys home. We were showing them who is top dog right there. That's right, Holy Roman Empire. Your days of being top dog are long since gone. That being said... If all the Catholic nations combine, form Voltron, <laughs> they can still be a pretty big threat. Especially Italy. Italy's really strong. Luckily for us, they've been busy fighting with uh, France. I don't know if that war is still going on. It is. 89% in favor of King uh, Damiano, Damiano of Italy. And the Duke of War for Ezel's claim on Alto Aragon. Hey, Lords of the Sky, do you guys love us? Because you should. This guy should absolutely love us. Well, he likes us. 
I thought he would love us more for saving his ass, but whatever. The, the Lords of the Sky in the past saved our country's ass, so I'm not going to be a dick about that. We're going to send all the troops home. Uh, Retinue, we're going to bring you a little closer to here. In fact, I bet you we can raise more Retinue troops. So if we go to Retinue, because we've been expanding our military stuff. What do we want? we got plenty of cavalry. I want some more heavy infantry. We'll get those. A couple of those. And then that'll probably be good. Uh, we'll move them up there. That's definitely going to run us up a little bit of money, but I think it's worth it. Not bad at all. Man, King or Emperor Radigan. You the man. Let's see what everybody thinks of him. One guy doesn't like him. Dickhead McGee right here. Well, you don't like me, bro. You know, I could take your territory. It wouldn't be that hard. Uh, what do you own? Zagreb? And the Duchy of Zagreb? Are you mad because you don't have these? I don't know who they report to. They report to other dudes. Yeah, they both report to this dickweed. That ain't my far... Fart? That ain't my fault, bro. I tell you what I will do. Because you're being an asshole and grumpy. I'm going to take away your ducal title. In fact, we're going to send an army that way just in case he doesn't like it. Uh, we'll put them on fight, though. We want everybody on fight again. He's like, mm, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I humbly accept your decision. Not only that... But we're gonna find this guy, cause he look. Oh, you don't like us? What about this old fuck? You really don't like us. We'll give it to this guy. We will grant you the Duchy of Slavonia. Slavonia. And now he is a high chief. He reports directly to us, and at least two parts of this duchy are now under control of one person. So it's a little better organized, and we got rid of somebody who was grumpy. And now we got somebody who absolutely loves us. I told you my dumb look would work, honey. You still look dumb. These guys are going to have incest babies. We have too many related people, as you can tell by the blood sign in this kingdom. We're going to have a whole line of rulers who are inbred and can't do anything. We can probably move you back there. Oh, wait, I, you know what, honestly, actually, now that I think about it, I want to move all of the retinue into one giant spot and split them in half so they're more or less even troop type. I don't know what the hell the Holy Roman Empire is doing. Oh, yeah, you, they're fighting a war against some host that is trying to take them out. You're not a very good emperor. Get off my dick! No, I don't want to be on that. Uh... Uh, one of their kids is an imbecile. Whoa. What about the other kid? He's not. <laughs> I wish the imbecile would take over the Holy Roman Empire. That'd be good times. <laughs> oh, wait, who are you guys? Oh, those are the fleets. I forgot to send the navies home. Shit's McButts. Uh, let's go to military. We will send the navies home. I bet my vassals were mad about that, that I had all their boats by my place and I forgot about it. Uh, let's see if there's anybody to ransom from that war. Not really. Why don't we kill somebody? Oh, nobody would like that. Oh. Taking away all our fun. We just want to have some random murders. So, Byzantine Empire, how you doing, bro? Ooh! He's only got 6,000 troops left? He must have lost a war with somebody. He did! Because they used to have some territory here, and apparently whoever the... Mukatarid are. They took it from them. Or they lost the rebellion. Why don't we declare war on these guys? What do we want, though? We want a holy war for something. That would be kind of cool. Is it worth going for this? Oh, those are good territories. Ooh, this would have room to expand if we were willing to go up to seven and keep that ourselves. And then all of our territory would touch. I think we might do that. So, bro, um, I, I heard times are tough. He's like, yeah, yeah, guess what? They're getting tougher. <laughs> All right, we're going to declare war on them. We're going to merge these guys. 
Let's see if the Sky Lords, the Lords of the Sky... Why can't I hire their dudes? Aren't, are you fighting another war? Oh, he is. He's going to go conquer some place. Fair enough. All right. We're going to do this up real good. We're going to make our vassals mad. We're going to raise up a bunch of people. Uh, why don't we split these guys in two? How am I going to do this? We've got so many guys now. Um, let's just start pouring them into this territory here. Uh, we'll start pouring them into that territory. We'll move a retinue unit to defend there. A retinue unit to defend there. Um, we're gonna move these guys into here. Ooh, a daughter was born to Emperor Radigan, the wise, and the Jija, named Silva. Aw, uh, she's sickly, poor girl. I'm going to move these guys into here. Oh, am I not selected on them anymore? I'm... Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, shit, we got all these guys. You can go home. You all... Fuck, man. <laughs> you all kind of meet here. And you all kind of meet here. We've got so many troops. And y'all kind of meet here, and then you kind of meet there, and then you guys move into here, and y'all can stay home, and Azar, I did not grab everybody. I guess you guys can, I don't know, go right there. What's up now, Holy Roman Empire? Uh-oh. That is not good. I didn't want to have our guys attack like that piecemeal. When did the rest of them get in there? The 26? Well, we might win. We are winning already. Sweet! What up now, Holy Roman Empire? And apparently they have some guys in our territory for some reason. Um, you stay right there. Uh, we have a couple guys here not doing anything. We'll move them to reinforce. I don't know if they'll get there in time or not, but... And apparently we have an army up here that is fighting. And winning! Victory! We've already won one battle. Uh, let's merge these dweebs. In fact, why don't we merge these dweebs, and we'll move them in here. And we'll have these guys follow. Follow the little bitches! As we fight this battle here. What's up, Byzantine Emperor? Oh, and we're already sieging here with the army of the King of Georgia. Uh, apparently, these guys never got orders to go anywhere. <laughs> well, we'll send them south. Who the hell are these dipshits? The Teutonic Order? Are they helping out the Byzantine Empire? They are! Why? Is this where they're based? The Teutonic Order has got a giant army, you can see, of 11,000 troops marching through our territory. Wait, are they coming from here? It's right there! And right there, so the Teutonic Order is in my territory? What the hell? After this, we might have to take care of the Teutonic Order. I need to write that shit down. So they're in the middle of my territory. I'm like, you're protected by my guys. Shit. Um, victory? Where did we win a victory? Oh, that was that battle we were fighting right there. We captured some guy. So it's in Grano and... Podolasi, the Teutonic Order, in the middle of Tangri territory, they have managed to stay Catholic. Because this is, oh, I guess those areas are still Catholic. They never converted. You will be in Turov on the 8th. You will be out August, September. Okay, you'll be out in time. Uh, why don't we merge these guys? 
I'm surprised they're not suffering from attrition up there. All right, we will merge these guys here. You all will merge, and we will put you right here, I believe. This army here, we're going to put right here. So we can cover you if you need to. You're marching into Thrake. Why don't we wait here in Thrake? Let him come to us. Uh, we will send some reinforcements. Not a hell of a lot, but hopefully enough. Uh, we will merge these dweebs. Uh, merge. We're going to go through their kills, guys, and move up there. The big thing is we got to watch out for that 11,000-man army that's on the way. Out of our own territory. Somebody should have sent me a memo about that. Oh, well. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode, everybody. Thanks so much. i got to remember to, after this, if we can get rid of the Teutonic Order, that would be awesome. <laughs> I can't believe they had so many troops that came out of our own territory. Uh, sorry if the mic got weird there. Uh, I'm going to head off. I hope you all have a great day. And then hopefully next time we'll continue the war with the Byzantine Empire to try and take this. And give our area a little more protection. Our entire LP, we're like over 200 episodes now. Our capital has always been on the border with the enemy. If we win this war, for once, there will be a little bit of a buffer zone. Thanks for hanging out.